so it's the 7th of August and it's uh, day 8 sailing from San Fran to Hawaii and I know what you guys are probably thinking hey it's day 8 what happened to days 1 through 7 well you know what they sucked and so I chose not to film anything because it was absolutely horrible and I just pretty much just laid in bed um, but uh, today it, it was like flipping on a uh, a light switch everything just changed um, we just got into the trade winds and so we're uh, we're running with the wind um, it's really good you can see on the chart here I don't know uh, so that's us there's the mainland and there's Hawaii so we're just about halfway um, actually have about 1100 miles to go but uh, I mean today it's been I mean, so much nicer I got up in you know, took a shower and cleaned the boat and <clears throat> made a good breakfast. You see, I made biscuits and it was, I mean, <laughs> just like normal food. It was great. Um, I'm go outside. <clears throat> uh, you can see we're running wing on wing there. Uh, and just so gorgeous out. And, not a boat anywhere. It's perfect. Uh, I got the fishing pole out. Uh, hopefully, get some fresh fish today. But yeah, so that's day eight and first day of filming. <laughs> so, yep. So it's the 8th of August and just doing some routine maintenance. I guess we're unexpected routine maintenance, but as you can see, uh, this is the primary fill filter, which the bowl was just completely filled with water and bacteria growth. You can see what came out was that the bottom there is not diesel fuel, so uh, replacing that filter. So I just replaced the uh, primary and secondary fill filters. Uh, the primary was just full of water and sludge, which it's, uh, I mean, it's not uncommon, especially in rough weather, to clog your filters like that. But I mean, it, I barely ran the engines at all this trip. I've only uh, motored two days um, since leaving Seattle. Um, so it was quite unusual. Um, and that was the second time also I had, to, I drained the bowl. That was just filled with uh, water but yeah uh, re filters replaced and I bled the lines everything's working good and we're back to sailing uh, making really good speed about six knots right now so I think uh, ten more days to fly Aloha. so as you can see our speed uh, we've been doing about four and a half to about five knots all day um, and why I mentioned that is because a lot of people have been messaging me about my sail arrangement and just how I'm doing uh, sailing. And honestly, since leaving Seattle, um, I've really only used my head sail. Um, I've used my main like for three days, but as you can see today, uh, we just got the head sail pulled out. It's 150% uh, Genoa. the wind indicator up there but pretty much on a run right now but yeah I could put the main up right now and maybe get a knot but uh these falls come and they last maybe 30 minutes or an hour but uh, it gets pretty difficult just for yourself taking the main down to and reducing the sail so I just kind of take it easy and head sail fine. Uh, another thing I've been getting messages about is uh, this thing, which is my wind vane. Um, and as you can see how it works, uh, you have this air vane, which you point into the wind, and then when it falls off wind, it goes and turns this paddle that's in the water one that I'll go ahead and turn it so you can see the paddle move. 
see it come out. And what it does is these lines, which all of them goes to the wheel and keeps me on course, which uh, is pretty ingenious. Uh, I often just stare at it uh, for hours just watching it work. Um, you know, it takes no power and it steers, you know, for the most part better than I ever could. Um, there's some quirks to it. You got to really be good at trimming your sails so it doesn't overpower it but yeah um, so that is my sail arrangement and my wind vane so feel free to message me any other questions so every morning when I wake up I search the deck um, for these little guys that uh, usually I try to get there in time to get them back in the water but yeah every morning they're just all over the decks going down the, the hall that I just kind of pick up and sweep them and throw them back in the water but <clears throat> yeah it's, it's really quite strange um, in the afternoons you can see them just jumping across the waves it's really a quite spectacular thing to witness yeah this is probably the first really sunny day that we've had um, so gorgeous uh, winds blowing about 15 20 knots right off the stern and we're just melting the miles away so so perfect you can just see it's just so nice out but yeah I'm so stoked we're just about there uh, all right, so I made it to Hawaii, finally. Um, that was probably the, the trip of a lifetime. Uh, definitely the most challenging thing that I've ever done. Uh, but, I mean, look at it. It was, it's, was completely worth it. Um, yeah, a lot of people have wrote in and asked me, you know, hey, what do you do all day with your time? And, you know, mostly I read a lot. Um, I watch TV. Um, I try to cook the best that I can given the, the sea state. Ah, okay. uh, banana bread! And yeah, and then I do some fishing. And got me some mahi mahi. Pretty much that occupies my whole day. Um, so. If you guys want to see anything or request anything that I document, uh, just write in and let me know. Um, otherwise, I should be leaving in about a month or so to Micronesia.